Here's a quick guide to getting started with the Mvoice One Vocal Synthesis plugin. If you don't have the plugin yet, you can download and install it from mvoiceapp.com. Otherwise, let's go through the very basics. When you launch the plugin, you should see an empty space for creating notes and lyrics. You should be connected to the internet for things to work properly from here. Let's start by creating a couple of notes. We can do this using the mouse tool or the pencil tool. To do it with a mouse tool, just double click on the timeline where you want to place a note. To create notes with the pen tool, simply single click on the timeline to create a note. When we start playback in our door, the plugin sings these notes. Remember, the timeline along the top of Envoice One relates to your door's timeline, so rely on your door to control playback. You can make notes longer by grabbing either end of the note with the mouse tool. Using the mouse tool again, you can select multiple notes and drag notes up or down to change their pitches. You can select a different voice to use at any time using the voice selector box in the top left. La, la. It's time to start adding some words for these notes. Just click on a text box and type any English words you want. You can change these words at any time. I need a way. When you type new words, the plugin will request the audio from Mvoice's servers, but usually you don't even notice this happening. Now here's the most crucial thing to remember when getting started with Mvoice. One note means one syllable. If you type a two syllable word into a one note box, the voice will sing the second word anyway at the same note as the last one. If you type a one syllable word into a two note box, the voice will sing the first word and then sing the second note as a la. Fine, la. However many notes you have for one text box, that's how many syllables you should fit into it. You can link notes together into a single phrase in Envoice One. This means they will combine to use a single text box and there'll be no space between them. I need a way. Adding a new note right next to an existing note will create it as part of the same phrase using the same text box. If you want a new note to have its own text box, create it a short distance from all other notes. The final thing that's essential to know when working with Envoice One is how the plugin timeline relates to your door's timeline. Each bar in Envoice One matches each bar in your door. This means that if you don't want the vocal part to start until, say, bar 16, you have to enter the notes and lyrics at bar 16. You can't enter notes at Envoice's bar 1 and then arrange them later in your door's timeline. Bar 16. Those are the absolute basics you need in order to get started with Envoice One. To go further with note programming, custom dictionaries, vibrato and glides, MIDI lesson mode and phoneme entry, keep watching the quick tutorials on this channel. Or check out the Envoice One manual, which you can access from the plugin itself or from envoiceapp.com.